first off an apology because this tutorial is mostly going to be me talking because this series needs an introduction and explanation. Um, but we will do a little bit of uh, command line work here, to video editing today. Um, and basically, uh, the reason I want to talk a little bit is because a lot of people would be like, why would you want to edit video from the command line? Well, I've got two good reasons. Now, if you plan on making a movie, no, you probably don't want to be doing too much editing from the command line. You're going to want to use a program similar to like Caden Live. That's what I've been using for the last year and a half, two years for uh, pretty much all my video editing, besides a little bit in Blender here and there. Um, and it's great. If you've used Caden Live in the past and you didn't like it because it crashed or something like that and ran like crap, yeah, a year and a half, two years ago, it, it wasn't that great. But in the last year and a half, two years, it has come a long way. Um, and it does everything I need pretty much and what it does in Blender does. Um, so I'd recommend checking that out. And if you're going to be doing video editing as far as a movie, that's a great. And, you know, if you're not a command line person or a shell person, uh, this, this is a great program. But two reasons that you may want to edit or at least know how to edit video from the command line is one, automation is, is even when you're doing video editing, Lots of times videos are very repetitive when you're doing different projects. Um, example, when I'm doing home videos uh, or even wedding videos. I, I used to do weddings. I still do them here and there. And they're all pretty much the same. I have a digital camera. I use a Canon T3i right now. Um, I film my video clips. I don't film more than I want. If there's a clip I take that... Um, I know I don't like, I try to delete it right off the camera right away. That way when I get home, I can drag and drop the videos into my editor if I'm using something like Caden Live, and I don't have to go through and delete them then. I can drag them to the timeline, they're usually in the order that they should be in, it's not like a, a movie movie where you may film things out of order, um, home videos and, and weddings, uh, the order you film it in is pretty much the order it should be in. Um, so automation is... is something you can do from the command line and you may you know may save you some time if you're gonna drag and drop all the videos clips to the timeline add fade effects maybe adjust the brightness and contrast um, maybe adjust the speed because like wedding videos I like doing stuff in slow motion I can put all that in a script before I go and film it when I get home go into that folder run the script it will take each video clip fade them out at one second uh, uh, maybe adjust the colors, maybe add a vignette, and save it to a file. I'm done. All I had to do was type the one command. So, uh, also, another reason, I forgot, it's number two reason that you may want to learn how to work this, is you may want to create a program like Caden Live. Maybe you don't like the way Caden Live is set up, and you're, you're gung-ho enough to go and make your own. Well, Caden Live uses a back end uh, of a program called MLT. It's a framework for video editing. Uh, Caden Live isn't the only video editor that uses it. OpenShot uses it, and if you go to the MLT website, there's a list of probably 10 video editors that use MLT as a back end. We're going to be using MLT, but we're going to be using a, also a program called Melt to go along with MLT, which is kind of a, a shell front end for MLT. Um, and I've done tutorials in the past on doing basic cutting of videos, resizing of videos, using FFmpeg, and we're going to be using some FFmpeg in this series. And in fact, in this tutorial today, we're going to be using FFmpeg. And that's great. FFmpeg can do a lot of stuff when it comes to resizing, uh, cropping, uh, trimming the video, um, converting the video, which is what we're going to be doing today. Um, not that great for effects, which MLT will let us do. Also, MLT let, will let us see the video live before we save it to a file. So here's an example. I'm, I'm in Caden Live here. Let me try to add a, uh, a vignette effect to all these videos here and smooth it out to about there. So let's say, you know, I was able to do a vignette effect with... Oh, I only edited that for that one. But anyway, um, a vignette effect for uh, in FFmpeg. FFmpeg or M encoder or mencoder, however you say it, um, whatever you do to it, you have to save to a file, as far as I know, before you can view it. So kind of like in Caden Live here, I can uh, scrub through this and see the video live without having to save anything. MLT will let us do that from the command line too, from the shell. Um, so basically, we can 
write our script to show us what the video is going to look like before we save it to a file. Once it looks good, click OK, type Y, yes, whatever, and it will save it to a file, which is great because there's nothing like spending 20, 30 minutes or an hour rendering out a video just to find that it doesn't look right. So uh, basically, uh, we're going to use Melt here. Here's, here's an example. I'm going to hit List. We've got uh, uh, a number of videos in here. These, were, these are the original video files off of my Canon T3i. Um, they're MOV files. They're high definition, 1080p, 30 frames a second. Uh, and to play them all together as if they were joined, which I know you can join files with uh, FFmpeg and M encode, but as I said, MLT will let you uh, preview them all joined before you actually join them in a file. So I'm going to use melt, and all I'm going to do is say is melt and give it a list of the files. In this case, I'm just going to do all of them, and it will start playing it. So here's a clip of my family uh, a few months ago before my daughter was born. We went to have a ultrasound for people who came to see whether it was a boy or a girl. And so this is what they look like when you get it. Now you'll notice at the beginning of each new clip, uh, there it kind of freezes for a third of a second, maybe 10 frames, maybe 5 frames. It's definitely noticeable. Uh, and that's something I wanted to point out because I'm currently running uh, Debian Unstable. I'm running Debian SID. Um, so the software that I'm using is not stable. So uh, MLT and KDLI are not necessarily stable versions. Uh, in previous versions, when I was in the it was an older version of KDLI and MLT. I did not have this issue. When I went to the unstable, I started having that issue. Um, that's part of the problem of working with unstable software. You get the newest, but it's unstable. So hopefully, if you guys are working with something like Linux Mint or Ubuntu, you're not going to have that issue or a stable version of Debian. Not a big deal, because there's a simple solution for it. Um, that little pause only happens with certain video compressions, certain video formats and codecs. In Caden Live, what I've been doing, we go to File, Transcode Clips. I'll grab a bunch of clips here. Uh, and you have these profiles preset. Uh, I'm going to do 1080p, uh, 30 frames a second, uh, 220 megabits per second. This will transcode them to another uh, MOV format uh, that MLT loves, has no problem with them. It's a great format. I don't notice any video loss. It doesn't take long to convert them. It uses FFmpeg to convert them. Uh, so it's an extra step, but it solves the problem. Also, even if you're not having that pausing problem, it might be good to convert to this because it might cause MLT to not um, lag at all because MLT just works with it better, a little bit less stress on your computer. So if you're having any type of issues like that, try converting them. And that's what we're going to do today. You could use Caden Live just like this, but hey, it's using FFmpeg and it tells you exactly what you need right here. So we'll copy that. We'll go back to the command line. And what I could do is FFmpeg and then I can say dash I, and then the input file will say, um, we'll do that one right there. And then I can paste in what I had from Caden Live and give it a new output of new video or new dot MOV. Sorry, my, I was overriding the, the text there. Um, and that will create a new file uh, that, that uh, MLT works great with. Obviously, I have a number of files, so what we're going to do today is we're going to write a script that will automate all that, put the new ones in a file for editing. This is pretty much what I do. I stick the SD card from my Canon camera into my computer. I run this script. It basically, uh, or a similar version of the script, that takes the, the files that I had recorded that day, puts them onto my hard drive, but converts them as it's moving them uh, to this format. So real quick, I'm going to create a uh, file here. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, and I'm just going to call this mltconvert.sh. Going to make it a bash file, so I'm going to say bin bash on my shebang line here. Let's make a folder to put all the converted video into. So uh, make directory, we'll call the folder edit, because it will be the videos we're editing. Then we're just going to do a for loop. So we're going to say for i in all the mov files in this folder and i'm gonna do this so i don't forget 
And then we're going to say ffmpeg dash i, and then our variable for our input file. We will paste in the command from uh, Caden Live. And there were other options in there, but this is the one that I normally use. And then I'm going to say save the new converted video to the edit folder and give it the same name as the original file. Uh, now in this case we're converting to an MOV and from an MOV so that's fine if you're converting from like an AVI file just put dot MOV in here to make sure it converts it to an MOV file. Also uh, as you can see my video is 1080p uh, and uh, the frame rate is 30 frames a second. If your original video is is only uh, you know VGA quality, wherever change the resolution so you're not making big files because you're not going to up the quality. You can keep the quality the same, save yourself some disk space. So, but now that I have that done, I'm going to save that, make our script executable with change mod plus x, and that file, and then we will run that file with dot mlt convert, and it will automatically start converting all those videos and putting them into that folder. Um, so, in the next tutorial, I'll show you the output of that. We'll start linking videos together. I'll show you how not to just preview, but save the videos, and we'll go from there. Um, hopefully, you're finding this useful. Um, a lot of people may not care about doing this, and I know that, but it's something I do regularly with a lot of my videos, and uh, it saves me time, so I thought I'd share it. Um, it's also good, another reason, well, I'll go, I don't want to talk too much in this tutorial. Uh, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description of this video. Um, if you're not interested in video editing for the command line, I have got plenty of tutorials up. Watch those while we're going through the series. By the time you're done watching all those, maybe we'll be on to a different topic. Also, while you're at my site, if you like my videos, there is a donate button. Uh, and I just want to thank everyone who has donated and anyone who will donate. I do appreciate it. helps the site keep going. And I just want to say, I hope that you have a great day.